Hello, and welcome to another video by PeripheralGames.net. It's me, David. And today I got a really cool uh, tutorial that I've been experimenting with over the, the, the past couple of days. It's doing 2D pixel art for games in Blender. Which is, in my mind, amazing, because I'm not very good at 2D art in general. And <coughs> uh, being able to do it in Blender is just amazing. Um, anyways, uh, first of all i got to put out a disclaimer. I did not come up with this technique. A guy on BlendSwap called VGO Gamer made this uh, little animation and this is what this is where I learned the technique off so all the credit goes to him for developing the technique I do believe I'm the first person to make a tutorial out of it though a video tutorial so uh, next thing you'll need is a special build from uh, graphical.org um, for blender freestyle so just go to the top here if you just go to uh, graphical.org like this um, and go to free style enter and uh, you want to get the most latest version of blender with freestyle uh, in this case it's blender 2.63.5 which is the one I've got loaded up here all right first of all I got a little rock here which I made with a normal map uh, it's UV unwrapped as well you don't need to do that I'll show you another way of doing it at the end of the video but for now let's set up the materials so uh, <coughs> in blender internal render not cycles uh, make a new material. I'll just call it rock because I like naming things. Get rid of specular completely down and diffuse and then click ramp and remove this alpha here, alpha 1. So you get this linear black to white. And then I'm going to turn this onto constant. Uh, and then we get that. And that looks like an 8 ball. Oh, I've forgotten to say something. This is input down here where it says shader. You got to change this to result. There we go. That's better. Now, so what you get here is this <coughs> the start contrasting black and white material uh, where the the white is where light will be cast and the black is where it won't so if you just move this down here we're just gonna add another one so we got three of them and then change them to the shades of a rock so this last one's gonna be dark gray this middle one is gonna be do 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 light gray or medium gray and then this last one will be light gray so what you get left with is this uh, this sort of stark pixelarity shading so if you just click uh, just gonna render this F12 um, see what we're getting something like this so just edit this uh, this ramp move the nodes around until you get something about right I'm just moving these like there we go that looks pretty good so the light is up in the top right here and that's why we're getting this uh, and this is the basis for how the the shading of our our pixel art will work <coughs> Next thing we're going to do is make it look more like a rock because it just doesn't now. And we're going to use our normal texture to do this. So go to textures, add a new one, normals, and go to image or movie. Image, I'm going to open up my normals map like this. Uh, there we go. And then what do we want to do next? Image sampling, you want to click on normal map. Uh, mapping, you want to click on UV. Obviously, in this case, it's a UV map. So that's that. In influence you want to uncheck color and check normal like swa and then click F12 and voila we're starting to get something that looks more like a rock you can see the texture and the lighting is working with our little material that we made so the next thing is to do the uh, the freestyle rendering so if you go into uh, render settings here and you go to post processing uh, down here there will be a little checkbox that says freestyle you want to check that this will be on absolute when you get it just click it on relative I prefer it like that and then go up to freestyle and add a new line set like this outlines I'm gonna click selection by visibility and selection by edge type and then you can just leave that alone uh, freestyle line style you're gonna change the stroke in strokes you're gonna change it to sketchy and same object actually uncheck that um, color is black is fine alpha is fine thickness you want to put up to about seven I think will be good for now and then just click F12 and if you wait a second we will get this black outline which looks great um, now the next thing we're gonna do is make it look more pixely because it doesn't at the moment and this is a really simple step you go to dimensions and where it says you can put in a small resolution here but I'm just gonna be lazy and type in eight percent in here and press F12 and <coughs> as you can see we get a kind of blurred image which does not look good 
So uncheck anti-aliasing, and I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, please tell me if I'm not, but that will stop it from blurring. Press F12, and voila! You get a um, pixel, pixel art rock. Um, we can increase the pixels by lowering this number to say 6, getting a lot more pixels now. And then, uh, that's pretty much it. You can make the line thicker by going into line style, turning up the thickness, maybe 12. Uh, looks okay. Um, I'm going to include the blend with the video, so uh, please feel free to download it. And mess around with the settings for the line and, and such. Um, I'm still learning how freestyle works. So, um, please bear with me. I may do another tutorial on a, at a later stage, <coughs> um, trying out different things. I'm just, I'm just fiddling with things now. Anyways, the the last thing I'm going to show you is if you don't have a normal map for the object, you can uh, you can fake this texture using a cloud texture. So what we'll do is go into normals here, or textures, sorry, and delete out the normal texture and make a new one. Uh, call it clouds, colors. I'm going to turn the brightness down and the contrast up. Uh, that looks pretty good. Saturation uh, should that's pretty good, like that. <coughs> and then uh, ch increase the size like that. Uh, depth is that's uh, fine. Uh, influence, uncheck color, check normals as you did the last time, and press F12. And that actually looks really good. Um, I think. We can increase the uh, the brightness a bit. Uh, we're getting a very noisy, noisy looking rock. Um, maybe no. Increase the size. Yeah, let's do that. Increase the size. That's looking better. There we go. Okay. See, see, you you, you can see what I'm getting at. Anyways, um, so basically, you can do this to build up any, and you can use any model you want, and use this technique to build up any um any, uh, what do you call it, any pixel image that you want. So, if you want to make an animation, it's as simple as making an animation normally. You'll just um, output it to uh, to PNGs, and then you can load up the PNGs in your game engine, or XNA, whatever, and there you have pixel art in Blender without going and clicking, clicking on each color. So, uh, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like it. Um, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.